Working around the perimeter now as Harvey dishes it inside to Underwood. Underwood goes up with the reverse hand and gets the easy layup. Zephyrs are on the board first. He's being defended there by Emorion Rolford. Underwood now with it at the top. He'll put up the three and it's good. Columbia Heights tried to work it inside there, but they were quickly rejected. Harvey now on the quick steal. Ooh, that was beautifully kept in bounds. Gets it to Will Underwood. Underwood goes up and draws the foul for the end one. So he'll be headed to the free throw line. And Underwood's free throw goes. And right away we have a quick turnover. Underwood dishes it to Carlson underneath the net. He goes up for the left-handed layup. And just like that, Matamidi has 10 unanswered really quickly into this game. I kind of wonder if there's some kind of injury or something, though, because the other senior listed for Columbia Heights as Carlson will take the pass on the inside, and he goes up for the layup. And he'll get it into Carlson. Carlson works it around the top, drives in the lane, and puts in the layup right-handed off the glass. But Underwood, with the free throw for Matamidi, makes it. Nate McClendon has won as Underwood heads to the line. And his first free throw is good. And a play gets relayed in by Keith Newman to the Zephyrs, so they slow things out a bit. Underwood with the look, he can't get it to go. The three-pointer's not falling for Matamidi right now, but they get yet another offensive rebound. Going up there was no good. But Carlson gets the fourth offensive board of the possession, goes up and gets the end one. And Carlson does indeed make it a three-point play. Carter, thank you for watching. <laughs> and thank you for Sarah for watching. As Matamidi gets the turnover now, they go off for the and one. Carlson gets the layup and will have another free throw coming. Underwood calls the play, swings it around to Armitage, gets it to Carlson, he'll take the three, and he finally gets one to go. But back the other way on the response is Wolford for Columbia Heights, and that is immediately answered right away. That was Underwood. As Carlson gets the steal, gets it up to Underwood, and Underwood goes up and lays it in for another two easy points for the Zephyrs. Carlson with the jam! Turnover fast break for Matamida, and Carlson throws it down to extend this out to a 12-point lead for the Zephyrs. the game as they are six of seven. And never mind on the other end, it's Will Underwood who goes up and gets the two-handed jam. But answering right back for Columbia Heights was Lavelle, Lavelle Hicks. And Carlson answers again for Matamidi. Carlson now takes possession of the ball. Gets it back to McCleary. McCleary back to Carlson. Carlson gets it inside to Underwood, and he goes up for the layup. I'm trying to make this interesting. We still have 7.30 to go here, so a lot of basketball left to be played. But back the other way, it's Carlson who looks to stay hot, and of course he does. Owen Carlson from long range. Adds to his point total. He is up to 24 on the night now for Matamidi. As McClendon looks to put up an awkward three and couldn't get it to go. Two on one back the other way for Matamidi. As un un yes, Underwood goes up and lays it in for another two points. Harvey now works it back to Underwood. Underwood drives in, puts up the jumper, and he gets it to go. It obviously has been a huge bonus for the Zephyrs as they missed him dearly, and he is just making it look easy out there as he goes up for the left-handed lay-in, picks up another two points, and is up to 25 on the night for Matamidi.